Today marks 78 years since the United States dropped an atomic bomb on the Japanese city of Hiroshima. The bomb killed about 140,000 people, with thousands more dying later of injuries and radiation-related illnesses. People gathered at a Hiroshima Memorial Park just before dawn to remember those who died. A commemorative ceremony was attended by representatives from 111 countries as well as the European Union. Ceremonies like that span the world with members of Veterans for Peace honoring victims in Balboa Park this morning here. They also use the occasion to demand an end to the use of nuclear weapons. CBS 8's Regina Urita talked to the group and several veterans who demanded alternatives. Good evening. Good evening, Carrie and Jesse. That's right. As you mentioned, it's been 78 years since Hiroshima got hit with the world's first atomic bomb. Today, many took the time to reflect the lives lost and the damage caused by the aftermath. They have been affected by the positive work. The group Veterans for Peace made speeches and took a moment of silence for the victims. Actually talk about the damage that these weapons cause to people as well as to the people that bomb cities and countries with these nuclear weapons and the huge expense it exacts on our economy. The atomic bomb dropped by the United States on Hiroshima 78 years ago killed 140,000 people. Three days later, a second bomb dropped on Nagasaki, killing 70,000 more people. The bombings quickly prompted Japan to surrender and end World War II. But knowing the lasting effects, veterans for peace have continued to call for the non-use of nuclear weapons. There needs to be more people talking about how to resolve issues before we get to the violent impact of using war and weapons to take lives from other countries, especially with nuclear war that can vaporize hundreds of thousands of lives. Some even recalled the horrors still being witnessed when visiting Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Veteran and chaplain Randy Cash says there are other ways to deal with political tensions. Telling people, you know, there's some, there's some alternatives, there's some other ways we can go about this. This also comes as support grows for the use of atomic bombs because of Russia's war in Ukraine and tensions in the Koreas. North Korea has advanced its missile and nuclear development. And during a ceremony in Hiroshima today, people observed a moment of silence at 8.15 a.m., the time when a U.S. B-29 dropped the bomb on the city. Hundreds of white doves considered symbols of peace were released. Carrie and Jesse. Regina, thank you so much for that.